Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you guys a real quick tutorial on how to change out the internal battery, the coin cell battery, on the LifePak 20 and 20E series. Normally, a lot of technicians pull the whole stupid thing apart and it takes them a half hour to an hour to do. I'm going to show you that we can do it in about five minutes. So let's take a look at what we need to get this done. All right, the first thing that we start out with is my handy dandy motorized screwdriver. Of course, I have a semi-insulated flat blade screwdriver. You can see it's a really fine point. I have a plastic laminated dingus. So <laughs> this guy right here, I'll show you how to use it later. Not only can you use it as a push tool, but there's a piece of foam that we have to compress. This is gonna be the tool to do it. I have a metal pokey thing. You never know when you can use it. Uh, so we're just gonna set it off to the side. I might have to need that if this guy right here doesn't suffice. So this looks like a coffee stir. I guess a coffee stir would suffice. And we're gonna use this for poking and prodding to make sure that everything's in position before we fully seat the coin cell. We don't want to use a metal object in there because there is going to be power on the capacitor. Now, I'm not suggesting that you guys do what I'm gonna be doing right now. Go ahead, discharge the capacitor, do what you wanna do. But I'm gonna show you that we're gonna avoid all that and we're gonna change out this coin cell with very easy tools. Here you can see I got a set of forceps. They're really fine pointed and I also have some shrink tube around the tips, all right? So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you have to be aware of is that there are four fasteners. There's one here, one here. We have two right here and we have two more. Oh, let's see, where are those guys? Right here, right here and right here. So let's go ahead and start at the top. There it goes. I hope this one over here is not broke off. Let's give it another shot. Uh oh. There it goes. Okay. The outside. Yep. All right. Let's go to the two bottom ones right here. So I just put my finger on the top of it, kind of push out as it's spinning. That gets it out of its seating position. Okay, just guide it up with your fingertip. Now the last two, right here. Now mind you guys, these are the short ones. There we are. Set it down. I notice that the front now wants the clamshell away. So we gotta pull it forward a little bit. Pull the outer shell off. And set it off to the side. Now, see this guy right here? Do not touch any of this right here. The one part that we are concerned with is right here. There's a coin cell battery right down in there. Let's see. All right, so the first thing I am gonna do, is I'm gonna stick my flat blade screwdriver in there and I'm gonna pop that coin cell out. So you gotta get between the plastic case and the coin itself and just kind of rotate this flat blade and it pops right up, just like that. So now I'm gonna reach in there with these forceps and I am going to grab this coin. I grab onto it with the forceps and pull it out. All right. So that's that. Let's get the new coin. Okay, guys. This is the battery. It's a 2032 coin cell. Do not make the mistake that I have made and leave the sticker on. I have made that mistake before. So one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to lightly grip the coin cell with your forceps. That is why I have the shrink tube on there. So I'm gonna put this plastic in here and then you're gonna force out with the battery 
and get it over the plastic of the housing. And then we're gonna just shove it in. There we go. There it is. Okay, so you wanna get the front leading edge of the battery into the cradle first. Can you see that? All right. So the front leading edge is gonna be in, and then we just pop the rest of the battery in. See that? Click. The battery is installed. I'm gonna put the case back on. Get my tooling out of the way. Notice I'm holding the clamshell together with my hand while I'm securing it. All right, so I always put the longer screws in first to make sure that the front plate is nice and even. There we go. Down to the front. Don't over tighten these, you'll crack the case. All right. Now you're going to have to reboot it once or twice just to make sure that this code is clear. And there it goes. Second reboot, lights off. All right guys, that's quick and easy. Five minute battery change. You don't have to pull the whole stupid thing apart. Just got to make sure you use a plastic to compress the, the, the sponge that holds the battery in and it goes right in. All right. Thanks for watching.